Why do you think psychologically you wanted to be an actor? Well, I had the advantage, man, where, you know, my grandfather was quite a well-known cinematographer, you know, who then became an editor later in his life. And so he had friends who were in the business and they all started in the services, the armed services. They were the guys that, that shot all the film in the various war zones through the Second World War and they moved into the film industry wow. after the war. And my mum's godfather, for instance, became a, a notoriously cheap uh, television producer in Australia <laughs> and so notoriously cheap that he had managed to con his uh, goddaughter into being the caterer. And um, that's how I started because I was, I was on film sets. And I would imagine your parents looked at the actors as like gods. They were caterers and they would see these people who were being treated in such this, a way. This is Australian TV back in the late 60s, early 70s. Right. And what you're talking about is just not there. No. You know, <laughs> this is a group of gypsies, yes. you know, who uh, do the job for the love. Right. You know? So that's what I got infected by. And learning that not every door on a set went somewhere and learning that you can totally fool people that you're in a submarine, even though it's made of wood. It's fascinating. <laughs> and it's, yeah, and I loved all that stuff. In other words, yeah. when you see a door that's so mysterious, where does this door lead? And obviously it leads nowhere. I would go and open it. You would? At six, yeah. At six. I would walk around film sets and go and see where things went. But also, you know, because then later in the scene and you're watching the actors play it, how they come, they enter and they exit. And, but you know this is a freestanding room. It's not a room in a building. It, when you talk about acting in kids, it's not considered the most masculine thing. D did kids tease you because you started acting at oh, six? Oh, for sure. They did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To the point Particularly, where it never really got to be a problem because I did it. A lot of the stuff I did was shows that they didn't see. They're on late at night and stuff right. like that. But I do remind people quite often when they start talking in terms of tough guy and blah, blah, blah. It's like, mate, I put makeup on for a living. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. you know? And it's, an, it's purely for me, it's an art form. Now, I've been very lucky in that I've been able to use my body to do my job, whether it's to expand or to shrink or get really strong or whatever, you know. And I'm that kind of actor. I like to, it to be, you know, uh, uh, an all-encompassing experience. Um, do you still like it? But you know, I, I love it. You love it. I walk to the camera on a set every day and I absolutely know this is where I should be. 